This is the procedure that we'll use to load the program into the Arduino IDE for all of the experiments. It's similar to what we did last time. It's just a review of what goes on. So basically, the first thing you've got to do is put, put on your desktop the folder with the lesson. In this case, we're doing lesson 13, IR receiver. Now, where did you get it from? You got it from either the CD or you got it from the link to my Dropbox. So then you just go file, new, and what we'll do is we'll actually look for the, we'll open, well, here's where, this is on my, this was on my desktop. So this is the desktop. You click on the desktop, click on IR receiver module, and it's the INO file, and we'll say open. And now this is, uh, this is a program that we want to load. But the problem is that whenever you have something like this, include irremote.h, it, it, you need the library to go with it. So in order to get the library, go to sketch, go to include library, go to add library uh, file. It's on my desktop. And basically it's lesson 13. And this is the zip file that includes the library. And we'll say, okay. The library was already there because I copied it. That's no problem. So I, I did it before. So you won't get that, that message. So after it's loaded in there, you want to verify. And so you'll see the process in verifying. And after it verified, It's compiling it. It's not finished yet. It's still going. And now it's compiled. There's no error messages. And now we want to upload it to the Arduino. So we click on here. We'll see the action down here. It's uploaded. And you'll complete the process. So that's the procedure that you'll use. You'll upload the program. And then if you see an H there, you'll need to upload the library. It'll be in the same folder that you had before and everything will be fine. Okay, so let's see, control the shift, 